Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna show you today how to use the Baca Renders Pizza mockup box. And let's say you probably already opened the PSD and you see all these layers and you're wondering how to add your own design. Well, uh, let's take a look at the layers that we have here. This is the box inner shadow, uh, which is the line here. You can change colors and stuff easily, blending modes. And we got the side holes, and we got the top design, and the side right, and of course, the box. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, the top layer, the side holes, and the side right are all smart objects, judging by the thumbnail right here. The mini paper thingy, if you can see it. Uh, okay, so if you double click the thumbnail, it will open a new tab in Photoshop in which you can edit the design that you chose on the side that you chose so let's try to let's try it out so we're gonna select the color this blue here I really like this blue and let's add some shapes right mm, I, have some, I have some custom shapes here uh, let's just try some I don't know Facebook pizza that would be funny. There we go. Let's just add the shape here. Some white. And we're going to add the text here pizza. Maybe. There we go. Ah, that should do. Probably some black around here, like that. There we go. I really like this design. And when you're ready, when you already did your design, in this tab uh, you can just go to file save and if you go back to the pizza box you will see that it saved your design on the pizza box and of course you can try also some blending modes like uh, darken or multiply color burn whatever suits your design best I personally prefer in the case of blue colors I prefer hard light because it really blends in really good and yeah that's about it I uh, hope you make some great stuff and don't remember to share this with your friends and tell your friends about Baka Renders and that we have good resources and we are still adding resources every day we're gonna add tutorials also don't forget to check our render gallery we have uh, tons and tons of high quality renders for you guys to make wallpapers and signatures and whatever you want and yeah that's about it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon bye bye